This is Liz Morton with my husband, Larry Morton, and we wanted to hop on here. It's really late. It's 10.15 at night. But we just finished watching the Tony Robbins Day One like Motivation Workshop, and we're feeling inspired and wanted to plug in the microphone as we talk about what we took away from it and let you guys in on a real-life conversation that we're having. So, to begin, I know you've been feeling lately like a lot of lack mindsets. How was it for you? That wasn't really what I had written down for, uh, for that. Well, tell me, like, just in general, like, what you got from it. Like, what were your initial feelings going into it? I didn't really know what to expect going into it, but it was pretty eye-opening. Like, yeah, we just make our own barriers, and we build up walls to protect us, but it winds up holding us back. Yeah, he said, like... us from progressing. He had said the walls that protect you also imprison you. Yeah, exactly. That one hit deep. Mm -hmm. Like, I've been having a lot of mindsets and, like, acknowledging the self-sabotage lately. Yeah, we do that a lot. From finances to nutrition to working out to everything in between. Yeah. It, really, it's, it's all in our heads. And we don't allow ourselves to stay on the right path because I feel like we tell ourselves that we don't deserve it or... We don't need to, yeah. you know, stay on the right path. Definitely. So what were some of the things that you were feeling that the workshop helped open up? Really just to break down those walls that you build up and that it's all in your head. Everything that you believe is all in your head and can be changed to something that is better. So what were some of the walls that you had built up? But what I'd written down was uh, everything that we're doing. Like, so many people have podcasts and make content that, why should we? There's already so much out there. So, uh, like, there's so much competition, but why not? What's to stop us from creating something, adding our input, and adding our value? Definitely. What about you? I wrote down, like, three Real big, like, limiting beliefs, and these are ones that I've had, well, the first one is had one that I've had, like, from my childhood, and it's that I'm annoying. I don't know necessarily where that came from, I just have it in my own head, really. But something, like, deep for me is that when I talk, I have a really soft voice normally, so people probably just don't hear me, but I take it as my voice is invalid, and that I'm annoying when I talk. Mm. So that's, like, my first one is that I'm annoying. And, of course, what that cost me is that it cost me friendships and connections and being able to share my story and my experiences that could potentially help somebody because of that limiting mindset. Yeah. And that limiting belief. And the opposite of that would be that I'm actually inspiring and that my voice is valid and that it's heard and that it's strong and my story matters and... Yeah, everything that we have in our heads that's negative is all self-constructed, and it can be deconstructed and replaced with positive, mm -hmm. you know, with getting rid of that belief that you think that you're annoying, that you're invalid, to you're empowering. So with that limiting mindset that my voice is annoying and that I'm annoying as a person and... That limiting belief that I've told myself, it's holding me back from creating the personal brand or creating the story that creating our books, creating our podcast, creating everything that we want to do in this life and for our kids and create the success and break the generational curses and create our wealth. And it's just holding us back from any potential opportunities that we could really be successful with. Yeah, I feel the same way too with, you know, my my voice, my opinions, that it's invalid, doesn't matter. But all it's doing is stopping us and stopping me from growing and showing, mm -hmm. you know, what we're capable of and, you know, what we have to say. That's, that's all it does is it safeguards us from the possibility of failure, but it also prevents us from the possibility of success. Yeah. And what you tell yourself, it reinforces that limiting belief. So it's mm -hmm. like, 
you'll find supporting evidence to support that limiting belief. But if you tell yourself the opposite, then you'll support that positive belief and the reframed mindset, and you'll find evidence to support that. So it's like, for the I'm annoying thing, it's like, well, people didn't hear me when I'm talking, people didn't whatever to go along with that. But if I tell myself I'm actually inspiring, then it's like, why am I inspiring? It's because I've started our business from literally nothing. I've grown it so that I have 50 events this year in my really like first year of business. We've got an incredible like family. We've got our background. We've got our everything that we've learned. And it's like all of those reasons are why we're inspiring and why we should share our story and why it matters. Mm -hmm. So for you, for starting your YouTube channel and sharing your experiences, like... Yeah, it's like, I had the mindset that, like, my opinion doesn't matter. And that, like I said, there's so many other people creating content, you know, in the area that I want to be in. But comparing, you know, myself just starting out to people who have been established for years and like, who am I to encroach on their space when it's not owned by anybody? It's an open market for anybody to be in. Mm-hmm. hundred percent. Yeah. You're just telling yourself and that's just going to stop you. It's going to imprison you. Exactly. It's going to stop you from ever even starting. Definitely. So what else did you write down? I didn't sound good in recordings and I didn't know what I was doing. When it came to any of this, because this is all foreign to me, but on the other side, or on the positive side, is that I might not know what I'm doing, but I can always learn. Mm -hmm. And any questions I have is just a Google search away. It's yep. all the information is at our fingertips. So it's not a valid excuse to not. Yeah, and like not for nothing, but you can find an online course for anything nowadays. Anything. So it's like. You can find somebody on Instagram or TikTok or The Works, Facebook, and pretty much find anybody that's an expert in whatever you want to learn about. Mm -hmm. So if it's starting a podcast, for example, like you could find somebody that there are podcasts about podcasting. Like I'm sure there's podcasts about YouTube. I'm sure that there's courses about creating YouTube accounts and channels and blogs. And like you can literally find anything at the search of Google, like you said. Yeah. You can find anybody giving. Expert advice on anything on any platform. Mm -hmm. Photography on YouTube and YouTube stuff on TikTok and yeah, you know it, it's you can find it everywhere. Yeah. So like the limiting belief that you don't know how to do something yeah. shouldn't exist, and it's very easy to it's flip it. that belief yeah. into you dismantle it and say, "Well, you shouldn't think that because it's not true." You can learn anything. The resources are there. You can take the power back. Exactly. One of my biggest things that I, I wrote down was, you know, listening to myself and seeing myself in recordings. And that's just something that I've always disliked. But coming to the realization that pretty much 100% of the people that are listening to this don't know what I sound like in real life. So there's no comparison for them to say, oh, you sound weird in a recording because you don't know what I sound like. And not for nothing, like, as your wife, like, I hear you talk in person, and I hear you talk in recordings, and you sound exactly the same. So... <laughs> yeah, which is just something that's weird for me, because I, you know, rarely hear myself in recordings. Yeah. So. It's just something, like, a mental block to get over. Yeah, and the more that you listen to yourself, and the more that you talk and see yourself in recordings, the more normal it will be. Yeah. And the less you'll think about it. That's in anything, though. Like, the more you do something, the more natural it becomes. Yeah. The more you do it, the better you get. Practice makes better. Yes. As they say. So was there any other, like, major takeaways from this overcoming mental block kind of workshop? Just that we need to do it. And that we all have some sort of mental block to get over in order to grow. Mm -hmm. And Like, deep-rooted yeah. issues. <laughs> yeah. And the only way to do it is to identify it. And to dismantle your belief as to why you think that negative thing is true and replace it with something positive. Uh -huh. The opposite of whatever you yeah, think is which, true. which is usually the total opposite of yeah. whatever your negative belief was. Because it's you can find supporting evidence on either side. Mm -hmm. You can say, no, oh, I shouldn't start this because there's too much competition. But on the flip side, you, you say, why shouldn't I start this? You know, it's a it's a growing environment. It's a growing field. Mm -hmm. 
you know, people want to consume this content, so why not be involved in it? Yeah, exactly. And I think that's for anything. Yeah. Any business opportunity, any relationship that you want to have, anything that you want to do goal-wise, just do it. <laughs> Take it from Nike. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think that that was good. I know that we're tired. We want to go to bed. Yeah. Lara doesn't feel good today. But we wanted to bring you into this conversation because we figured we should just have it once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of having it tonight after we talked about it and then plugging in the microphone to talk about it again tomorrow. Which we might, and we might plug it back in to do that, but you get the real life. Yeah, the raw version. Yeah, post video. <laughs> yeah, at 10.30 at night when we're struggling to keep our eyes open and talk quiet enough. We don't wait the kids. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for tuning into the show, and as always, please share this with your friends, leave us reviews. For those that may not know, new podcasts really, really, really need your love and support so that we can stay on the platform and be seen to other people. So please show us some love, and we hope that you guys have a great day whenever you listen to this. Bye. Thank you.